I've had a few people ask me uh, how to get started in web development, and I figured I would make a series of YouTube videos um, just talking about things I've learned over my career in web development that have made the, the process for me easier. I figured the best place to start uh, would just be to talk about the tools that I use in my everyday development. Now, my editor of choice is Atom. I, I know that there's a lot of options out there. There's Sublime Text, there's Brackets, there's uh, Visual Studios. Atom is just my personal preference. I'm sure there's other tools out there that can do the same things. I just think Atom would be a good place to start. It's a nice professional tool, and it has a bunch of really awesome features um, packed into it. So let's just open it up real quick. See, we got a new file here. Um, let's change plain text. Let's change it to HTML. What's awesome about Atom is that they have this um, this library of plugins. You can go down here to packages, installed packages, core packages. So let's go on here and install a package real quick. Um, Emmet. Install it. Um, if you haven't used Emp before, it's a really powerful tool to help you write code way faster. Starting web development, you're going to have to learn to code um, just a basic page. But with Emmet, all you have to do is type an explanation point and push tab, and it generates it all for you. Um, it makes it really easy. Some other cool things you can do with Emmet is, um, say you want to make a div, which is just a box. We'll talk about this in later tutorials. But I can just type div and push tab and it makes the div for me. Or let's say I want a div with the class of my class. Or I want a div with the ID of this one. Or I can do an unordered list and I want to do five list items. Or I can do five list items with a certain class. Pretty awesome. Not only is there a ton of packages you can choose from, um, but you can also do things like, install this real quick. And now I can just go up to packages, term three, uh, open a new tab, and I have a terminal right here. So if I'm working with Angular or some other CLI, I don't even have to leave uh, my editor. So that's just a couple reasons I really love Atom. Um, it's made by GitHub. If you're starting out um, with web development, I suggest you go over to GitHub and make an account. This is where you're going to store all your projects and everything. Also, let's just close this out real quick. And say I open up my terminal and I change my directory into GitHub, and I'll just go over to one of my, my projects right now. If you use GitHub, you, can, you usually have to, um, if you make a change in your project, you usually have to go to your terminal, type in git, add, and, and do all the terminal commands. But um, with Atom, oh, this is another cool feature. Since I'm right here in my project directory, I can type Atom, and then the current directory, and it'll open the project up for me. Anyway, the reason I wanted to open this up is because it's a uh, is because it's a project I have in a GitHub repo. So if I go down here and I make a make a change, actually there's some changes already, and I and I just click on this, you can see that here's all of the files that have been changed, and I can just push them to GitHub via my editor. So this editor really has a lot of things you can do inside of it. You can you can run terminal commands, you can install packages, you can do GitHub stuff. Um, it's really, really cool. All right, the next tool that I want to talk about is Slack. If, if you're doing web development, I assume that you're communicating with clients, um, that you're talking with your team, and that can get really cumbersome because maybe, oh, I sent him an email, and then I texted him, and then... I shot him an IM or whatever. All of these messages that you send out over all of these social media networks or whatever can get lost. And, and Slack really unifies all of that. 
So this is pretty cool. This is a client of mine. Um, we've been working together on uh, doing different things to our website. So I have this GitHub plugin installed on our website channel, and every time that I push to GitHub, it sends a notification telling her what changes have been made to the website. Um, some other cool things, you can upload PDFs, uh, you can go up here and you can you can search messages. Say there's something going on with the calendar, but I don't exactly remember where we talked about it. I can just type in calendar, and it will pull up all of the messages where we've talked about calendars, and I can just jump right to it. Um, some other cool things is you can share you know screenshots back and forth. You can do voice calls. You can uh, I believe you can even do um, video calls. So if you plan on working with a client over an extended period of time and you, you want to keep communication with them um, tight, I suggest using Slack. It's a really useful tool to be able to keep track of all your conversations and all your documents and keep everybody up to date on the team. Next I'm going to talk a little bit about Chrome. I'm sure most of you are already using it. If not, you're using like Mozilla. Um, or Safari or something like that. Um, Chrome just has some really, really cool um, web development tools. Navigate over to Google and inspect the element. Now you can see you can manipulate um, the HTML just by going right into here. So if I wanted to update this advertising keyword, just go in here and type in advertise or whatever I wanted to type in here. And this is without installing like a, a plugin. This just comes right with Chrome. Um, some other cool things you can do is you can, um, I'm not sure if I can do this here, but I can choose a place in my code that I want to, I want it to pause on. And then if I push refresh, See it pause right on here. Let's try this. Pause it on there. Then we can pause it on here too. Pause it on here. See the content hasn't even loaded yet and, and it won't load because it's paused on this function. And I can push resume script and it will so, and it will run this and then go down to the next break. Go down to the next break. There's a ton of other things you can do with the development tools I'm not really going to dive into right now. But one of my favorite browsers to work with. Oh yeah, and before I close that out, I wanted to show you that um, you can toggle between a mobile device. So when you're developing your website and you want to make sure it works on mobile devices, you can just open up your developer tools, toggle the mobile device, and then choose the mobile device. Refresh this one real quick. Whoops, still have these breakpoints in here. Okay, Google Mobile. Also, the plugins that you can get for Chrome, really, really cool. Um, like this color picker. My computer's kind of being a little bit laggy because I'm doing the screen recording. Um, yeah, here we go. And you can see that I can just go in here and choose different colors and it will give me the hex code. So if I want the color of this button, or if I want the color of this link up here, or this yellow down here, or whatever it is, I just click and then I have that, um, the hex code. So that's a really cool tool. It's, I believe it's called Color, color Picker color pick eyedropper. Um, this is another really cool tool. Sometimes when you're developing you want to take a picture of your whole website, but um, you know, you, you'll end up like taking a screenshot like this and then taking another screenshot below it and and then you have to stitch them all together in Photoshop and everything and it's just a big hassle. With this tool it will actually scroll and take a picture of every section of it and stitch it all together for you and give you one image. I have a ton of plugins. I could go on and on about them. Um, this is a really cool plugin. It lets you measure the pixels between elements. Really awesome. Okay, enough with Chrome. <laughs>
The last thing I want to talk about is Node and NPM. Let me open Chrome again real quick. And if you don't have Node installed on your machine, just um, go over to nodejs.org and um, just choose the installer and install it. Then it should be available in your terminal. You can make sure you have it installed by just typing in Node and checking what version you have. If you see this message, then you know you've installed it correctly. And if you get like a, a command not found message, then, then you just have to try to reinstall it. So the reason that I love um, Node so much is because it gives you tools like NPM and it allows you to install CLIs um, if you're working with frameworks like Angular or React. Here, let me just go over here again, Angular CLI. So you see they use, they use NPM. Um, NPM stands for Node Package Manager, install globally, and then they install the Angular CLI. So you can use NPM to install packages uh, into a project you're working on, or you can install NPM packages globally on your machine. Um, this, that's what they're doing here. They're installing the Angular CLI package. So it might not mean much to you if you're just getting started with web development, but later on you're going to be using it a ton. So just make sure you have it installed on your machine because in future tutorials I'm going to be using it. And I'm sure in the future you're going to be using it too. I think the important part in web development in the beginning is just to learn the basics and assign yourself uh, small projects that you know you can complete. If, if you assign yourself too big of projects, you're just going to get disappointed and you're just going to give up. If you can assign yourself small projects that you know you can complete, they'll be really satisfying once you get them done and then you can start building off of that knowledge. So in the next videos we're going to start talking about um, HTML and CSS and the direction to get started with that and then later we're going to get into some JavaScript and then maybe even some Angular and stuff like that. So if you're interested in web development make sure to subscribe to my channel and keep an eye out for the future videos.